Hello and welcome back to the power shed. Uh, this is one of my favorite little power supplies. It's a uh, 12 volt, 10 amp. It's an LED power supply, and they set the, the voltage is adjustable, but it's set very close to uh, 12 volts, and you can't get up to a normal uh, float voltage for many batteries. Uh, it's uh, you know I'm going to be leaving here in about a month, and I'm going to have to have some batteries to. Uh, that'll need to be maintained over the winter you know they may be junk but uh, in the garage I have uh, 60 volt panels and it would be nice to be able to power those from uh, 60 volts and so I have a little modification that I do to this little power supply and this supply is 110 to 220 but it'll work down to uh, 60 volts and it'll produce 80 watts so that's a uh, pretty good uh, you can see it here. It's got uh, two real resistors on it. That's a 2.5 ohm load, so that's a pretty low load. And you know, another thing you can do with these power supplies is many of you have uh, lithium batteries, and you want to keep them from freezing, or at least you don't want them to uh, start a charge until you know they're above freezing temperature. And uh, you know, you can put heaters in a box, and this is a great supply for those heaters because almost all of you will have more than 60 volts and this will run from 60 up to you know 200 volts so that you cover a lot of arrays and you can hook this right up to your solar panels you know the DC coming right out uh, it could hook it up to your heating pad with uh, you know some of those heating pads are have uh, internal resistance it's a PTC where uh, they will shut off at a certain temperature and uh, you can connect this right to it uh, when the sun comes up it starts heating and if your battery has some kind of a sensor that detects temperature uh, once it gets up to temperature uh, your charge control will start working but anyways let's get back to the modification uh, let's just show you how this works first and I got the little meter right here and I'm going to plug into 60 volts right now. And if you're looking, you'll see that green light come on. Oh, and there we go, 13 volts. And we'll be able to see that we can adjust this from 12.2 volts all the way up to... Uh, 14.23 now let's go through some of the modifications uh, this is uh, 20 watts worth of resistors and we're putting 80 watts in it so I'm going to unplug this thing right now so here's the modifications uh, first thing I do is I remove this little resistor here uh, that's a load on the output and uh, if I'm going to be hooking this up to a battery, I don't want to be have the power supply draining power out. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, because I'm operating this at low voltage, uh, the current's going to be higher. So I put two diodes in parallel. So you can see this one has a little dog leg over to it. These two diodes I remove, uh, and I just put a short there. I can always use the diode, so like, you know, why leave them in there? And this capacitor, uh, they have a 100 UF at 450 volts. And high voltage capacitors are kind of nice to have. So I pulled that out and I put a 330, uh, 20 microfarad in there. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, you saw how long the startup was. And there's two resistors here. This one and this one are in series. They're 750K. And uh, you can short one of them out. Prefer you short this one. And... Uh, it'll start up a little quicker and over here uh, you'll see this resistor right here uh, I put a 3.3 K in series with the existing one and that raises the uh, adjustable voltage this thing has uh, 16 volt capacitors in it so I don't like getting much over you know you could re increase that resistance a little bit I wouldn't go much over 14.5 volts with this and these capacitors but uh, that's your choice. 
see how you trust things. So this is a typical TL431 regulator. And what they do is uh, this is the output. And you have an LED on there all the time to show it's active. Uh, you got a small noise capacitor and a 1,000 UF 16 volts. R21 is at 330. That thing draws almost a half watt at 12 volts. And when you get up around 14 volts, it's actually more than the resistor can take. I just remove it. You know, uh, the, the 5K will drag it down. And, uh, you know, with this removed, this whole uh, regulator circuit will only draw about 2 MA. So you got the TL431. You got that little adjustment pot which is in series with R19. Uh, this R18 is the one, I think it's about a 20K or 22K, I'm not sure, but I put a 3.3 in there. You could do 3.6, 4.3K. Like I said, I don't really feel good to get about getting a much over 14.5 volts, but, uh, you know, if you don't care, this is a little opto-isolator that communicates with the chip. Uh, one of the things I also do with this is that, you know, you can buy these little cheap PWMs. And so you can take a 60-volt panel and just throw it into one of these. Uh, I mean, these power supplies are cheap. I pick them up. In, in the United States, they're on auction all the time because it's a very popular power supply. And if you go in there, in a, you know, if you take a two-week period... Uh, the last one I got was under nine bucks shipped, which is a heck of a deal. And uh, I always keep a couple around because they're nice to do things with. Like I say, you could take a 60 volt or 72 volt panel and and uh, run it right into this and one of these cheap charge controllers, and you got a nice battery charger. So again, this is. Uh, Line one comes in with the fuse, and then it goes to uh, the, the noise filter over there. I keep that there. The two diodes, D3 and D4, I parallel those up. Uh, it's D3 that uh, stays in the same position, and D4, I just do a little dog leg on the bottom. And you can see this one is the... Uh, little short I put in there but uh, what happens is when when you uh, apply power for first these two very high value resistors charge up this capacitor and when the voltage gets high enough it'll bump start the regulator I looked on the chip it said 3486d I didn't have my really good magnifier glass it doesn't come up in a Google search but at least the last time I looked and uh, maybe that number is wrong, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a switcher. And the coil itself in the transformer has this little self-powering coil. It goes through a little 10-ohm resistor and a diode. And so once the uh, switcher starts up, it, it powers itself. So you can short out one of these, and uh, you know because you're at the lower voltage, and it'll come up a little quicker. But yeah, it takes it takes about five seconds for this capacitor to charge up. I mean, it's you know 1.5 mega ohm going into a 10 microfarad. It takes a while, but it's a very simple circuit. And uh, like you say, these are 120 watt, 12 volt, 10 amp, 110, 220, and they're listed as LED power supplies. So they power in right at 12 volts because that's where you want to do it, and it'll go down to 11 something and up to you know, close to 13. But it's a it's an easy modification, and, you know, it's a nice for a battery maintainer. Uh, my garage right now, I have two little 12-volt solar panels that are charging up one of my batteries for the lights in the garage. And quite frankly, over the winter, uh, lightning seemed to have hit one of those panels because uh, I could see it actually broke through the... Uh, white plastic on the back and arced over to the frame. Everything is still working, but uh, the two panels I have, those were rejects when I bought them. You know, they're supposed to be five watt panels, but they came in at three and two watts. 
you know, this uh, manufacturer is just dumping them. But uh, this is a, a nice little mod. I mean, it's amazing that these things will operate at 80% power at less than half of their rated voltage, 60 volts. And we all know 60 volt panels are common, cheap. You know, I got I got a dozen 12 volt panels. I've just removed them from my system. <laughs> they're, they're just too much work. But uh, that's my little tip for the day. Uh, you know, bid on some of these things. You know, just put it in nine, nine and a quarter, nine fifty. You know, you'll likely get one. You know, you may have to bid about four or five times, but I have no problem picking them up. So. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.